Yeah, good morning guys. Actually, uh, I had internet problems plus I'm not feeling well. But, uh, sorry <laughs> if I was yan, late tayo ngayon. May internet problems ako. I was trying to get online yesterday. Kaso nga lang, wala eh. Anyway, so yan. Good morning. Good morning everyone. I'm just gonna go diretso sa mga questions niyo, Okay? Um, really, really sorry if we are late today. Uh, today is a Tuesday and... Yan, um... Most of our recommendations, yan, nag-hit naman niya. I hope walang naipit kay H2O kahapon sa agawan kay H2O. I told you yesterday, it wasn't really that significant of a move kay H2O. Kaya, ayun, um, yes, umakit siya saglit because of the hype. But then again, the true trend came and bumagsak siya. Today, H2O is still a good uh, it's still a good stock to watch for intraday. Yan again, guys, sa intraday lang si H2O today. Um uh ano pwede natin tingnan ngayon? For intraday, look at MHC today. For intraday, ang ganda ng M- M- galaw ni M- MHC yesterday. IRC, yan tingnan niyo rin yan today. It's another bullish move and a breakout siya kahapon. Uh, it broke its sideways uh, sideways resistance but basically it's already in a resistance. Yung mga nakapasok kay IRC kahapon, uh, don't be greedy, sell half already. I think this is going to go down uh, anytime soon. Ayan, si Or, ayan naman si Or, yeah, still good for intraday and Nicole uh, what what I'm saying is wag nyong uh, do not ever what they call this do not ever underestimate uh bullish stock right and si OPM ang ganda ni OPM kahapon OPM B OPM whenever it hits 110 then just buy it and then sell it again at 130 yan ganyan lang ang gal- galaw lagi kay ano kay OPM galing na nag-ask kahapon kay Nihao di ba kay Nihao na stocks uh forgot who that was uh yon look at that Uh, si Nihao. Let's look at the chart ni Nihao. Yan, si Nihao. Kahapon, MA20. This is what I'm talking about. Whenever it reaches MA20, ipanoorin nyo pag nag-bounce yan. Mag- um, it did bounce well when it hit N- MA20. So, ang laki ng panalo. No? So, mga pumasok kay MA20 after the bounce. Um, ang gusto kong tignan ninyo ngayon is I want you to watch EW East-West right here. Yan, si East-West kasi, yung downtrend niya, yung pangalawang downtrend niya actually, this is a wedge right here. Yung pangalawang downtrend niya, natapos na. Right, so, uh, 14 pesos. This is very cheap for east, East-West already. Right, so East-West, anytime soon, this is gonna be going up. So, we have a engulfing pattern right here. This is what I always teach you, guys, di ba? Ito yung isa sa mga tinuturo ko lagi. We have an engulfing pattern here. This trigger right here. Plus, there's an engulfing right there. Plus, that's a support. Sobrang dami na na signals na yan. So, and then, also, it broke its downtrend pattern pa yan na tawag dyan is a falling wedge, right, na pattern. So, east-west. I'm recommending east-west, right? Number two is, I want you to watch LSC today, guys. Ayan, sa LSC, kahapon, gumalaw siya bigla. Because of the news yesterday, um, there was a news kay LSC na kaya bumagsak si LSC because they were uh, there was they were given a case na nilaki ng fine nila, nila. and um, that was overturned hindi na sila magbabayad so that was good news for LSC. So what definitely watch LSC today? Right? There's a potential that LSC will be moving today. Um, uh, no pa ba? Uh, want you guys to watch. Uh, and actually, hindi, hindi rin ako nakapag-aral ano, eh, nakapag talaga eh. But yesterday, my list yesterday, definitely watch out for it. Um, I'm just gonna go to your questions. So that, ano, um, just gonna go to your questions para matignan natin yung ano yung mga tinitignan ninyo. Um, someone is looking at ISM. ISM, konting ingat kay ISM, still that resistance right there. But definitely, and intraday lang ang positions natin sa mga ganito. I know guys, this kind of movements is nakakaingit. But usually, if you're at the top already, um, while people are celebrating, that they are also uneasy. So anytime magkabintahan yan, baka magkabintahan na kay ISM eh. But it can be wrong. You can always check it out intraday, right? Ang 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 ganito mga movements, guys. 
you have to look at yourself. If you're a position trader or an intraday trader, if you're a position trader and if you want to get in here, from the name position trader, where is your position? Diba position tra trader positions himself at the very best position sa isang stock. This is not a good position right here. So, dapat intraday trades lang talaga ang pwede nyo gawin dyan. If you cannot watch the market full time, tulad ng tinuro ko sa inyo kahapon kay H2O, right? if you cannot watch the market full time, patay kayo. So, kung pumilit kayong pumasok dyan, if you didn't watch the market, ipit kayo dyan. Right? So, that's why I really want you guys to be very responsible. If you want to chase stocks, make sure you can watch the market and you know how to sell right away. Um, Clark Daniel Sisto has a question. New newbie question po, based on your experience, ilang companies ang dapat na sa portfolio? Yung diversified enough pero hindi mahirap i-monitor. 3 to 5 stocks for Clark. Joel Igares, pwede bang pumasok kay ALI? Yes, pwede bang pumasok kay ALI. Still very cheap right now. ALI and we have so many confirmations already. Malayu layu pa resistance niya. But then again, stay light. I did post about this on my website. What is the strategy for the PSEI this week? Uh, I said stay light, meaning if pumaso kayo dyan, um, do not hold it, do not expect it to go up right away because we haven't seen the market really reverse yet. It's a, These are good signs kay PSEI, but no no solid signs of reversal yet. We still have resistances and we don't have a higher low. So wala, pala, wala pa rin tayo talagang confirmation. It's already on an uptrend. Um, so stay light, meaning pag pumaso kayo dyan, it's still very near uh, support and Malili pa sa resistance, there's still chance that you can get in. And then once it fails to hit, I mean, fails to break out, break out through that resistance, just sell half, right? Mang sell half lang kayo. Then buy more again when it re it makes another support. So yes, pwede pumasok kay ALI and sa other blue chips who are already forming supports, right? Christian Lacaste, ALHI. Yun, si ALHI nga pala. Very good question. Nag-support na ito kahapon eh. Right, right here, ALHI is already in its support and is very solid already. So I'll be writing ALHI on my recommendations today. And EW, uh, ALHI, and si Ali. Andyan pa rin yan si Ali. Um, Si IS, I'm not sure about IS. Bakit nasa lista ko si IS? And si IS kasi nag-perform ng support. MRC, and we recommended MRC kahapon. Right, we still ha are at support, right? Buy as long as that support holds. Pag hindi naman, nag-hold yung support na yan, lumabas na kayo. Ionix, ayun. I risk, ayan. I solidly mentioned Ionix yesterday because this uptrend right here, these Elliott waves right here, if you haven't heard, read about Elliott waves yet please check it out and we have higher waves right here this is a very good level kay Ion nag uptrend na siya kahapon so good job sa mga pumasok kay Ion mataas na pala siya we have a resistance right there so I will not recommend Ion anymore good job sa mga nakapasok kay Ion and MBT and recommending MBT Kasi we have solid confirmations right there of the support and malayo-layo pa yung resistance niya. And Metro Bank is very undervalued as of the moment. So pumasok na kay MBT. Sorry about that. Um, excuse me. And Rico Velasco is insights po kay Bloom. Asking about Bloom. Now, time check, it's 9.13. Bilisan ko lang ito. Bias along as support holds kay Bloom. Nasa recommendations ko lagi si Bloom kasi nag-hold pa naman yung support niya. So, ano po effect ng 30 PHP share ng DD? Right? DD doesn't want to share uh, sell their shares lower than 30 because for them, ang fair value ng, ng company nila is just 30 pesos. They won't sell it lower. That is why DD is climbing. Kasi, yan, people are seeing the real uh, value of DD. Maabot siya 25. Kaso nga lang, it's a bearish market. So, um, nahihirapan siya magbenta. I don't think people are gonna buy the shares at 30. I'd rather buy the 25, diba? So, um, it's gonna be shaky. But I think DD is already very cheap right here. So, I think uh, magsa-stabilize na ito. The 30 effect, wala yung ganong effect. At least people have an idea magkano yung fair value ni, um, ni DD. And then, and um nobody will uh no no one will start selling because they know that mas mura yung stocks nila as of the moment. So yun yung makikita ng effect ng shares ni Didi. Walang magbebenta. Alfi Tamayo, that was Anyara Marie Rabejo. And Alfi Tamayo, X sir, let's check out X. 
check natin si X. Yan, si X. Right after that uh, support, very good and support. X is now breaking that what they call this right here. Uh, it broke this uh, what they call this uh, Bollinger Band. It's a breakout. Ang ganda ng move ni X kahapon. Right? We have a resistance right here. Pwede siya mag-breakout ulit today. Ganito ang gawin nyo guys. Because this is uh, this is a solid move kay X. But your risk is around 5-6%. So, delikado yung position niyo. Good job sa mga pumasok sa loob. Today, X, it did the Bollinger Band trigger. But wag nyo papasukin ka agad yan. Pasukin nyo yan. Pwede, pwede kayo makapag-intraday play nito. Right? If you're an intraday player, if you can watch the market, especially you, Alfie Tamayo, you're the one who asked if ano gagawin kay X. If you can watch the market, pwede mo habulin ito. Pag nag-bullish yan today, you can spot intraday, uh, you can get in intraday. Make sure you just cut loss sa entry point mo, right? Or you can use this resistance right here as your support para malita ang risk mo, right? That will be your position. Pag nag-break out yan today, <clears throat> pwede mo habulin yan si X, right? Um, Christian Gabriel, mat mataas na si Ayon. Yesterday was the best op uh, position. Did recommend that yesterday si Ayon kasi the Elliott Waves ni Ayon ang ganda na. Um, Joseph Magsino is asking about house. <clears throat> I've been recommending house because of this support right here. Yan, unti-unti na siyang maakit. But we are already in between support and resistance. Right. You're already between support and resistance, so I don't want you to chase this anymore. This is a missed opportunity already. Mali mahirap na to. You have the option, yes, pwede mo habulin yan, baka pumunta sa resistance. But I strongly recommend not, especially for newbies, kasi yung risk nyo, look at your risk right here. Ang dyan position niya, when, saan ka magka-cut loss? 6% ang cut loss, I mean, ang cut loss level mo, kasi it should be below the support, right? So, yan, malaki-laki na ang risk mo. Right? So, buy as long as, uh, uh, do not, uh, if you're a newbie, don't go after this because this can reverse anytime soon. Hindi natin alam kung mag-reach talaga ng resistance yan. Um, Syntax Trader, asking about MHC. Yan o, uh, galing, umabot pa rin tayo ng 165 viewers kahit na late tayo ngayon. Re really sorry if I'm late. I'm really not feeling well. Tsaka yung internet ko nakaproblema. MHC, yan, breakout sa MHC. Again, it's already too high. You can use this resistance as your support to lower your risk. And pag nagtuloy-tuloy yan intraday, then pwede nyo sa Kenyan. Make sure you can watch the market, okay? Kasi malaki-laki ang risk ninyo. Look at that, guys. If you use that breakout as your support, that resist previous resistance as your support, your risk is 8.48%. Malaki ang risk nyo dyan, ha? If you can bargain for a bit, yan, pag mapapanood mo to intraday and mag-bounce yan anywhere in this resistance point, that's your entry point. Lower your risk as much as possible. Huwag kayong papasok agad tulad nung kay H2O. Huwag kayong papasok agad kay H2O. Yan. So, yeah, uh, today, pwede nyo tignan sa si H2O. Baka mag-bullish yan today. Right? Nanchupit lang yung mga ano. Kasi alam na ng mga tao na nasa baba na maraming bibili. Kaya yun, nagbentahan. Right, Romeo Cruz is asking about Costco. Uh, Costco is a good stock right here. Napakamura na ni Costco and we have a support. So buy as long as that support holds for Costco. Right. And Crown. Yun, si Crown. I haven't checked Crown lately. Pero maganda yung position ni Crown niya. So it's holding that support. Nag-bounce na tayo sa support. So that's a good position kay, kay Crown. Right? Buy as long as this support holds. Pwede mo naman ibenta if ever this support fails. Let's see how much your risk is. Only 2% risk, you can cut loss at around 3%, 5%, 4%, It's up to you. But this is already very cheap for Crown. Kaso nga lang RSI niya, medyo nasa taas na. I think Crown is gonna be doing good. So buy, buy as long as that support holds. Ro Ro good morning, Robert Baluyot. H2O, yes. For today, H2O, same pa rin. Intraday pa rin ang tingnan ninyo. Right? Um, intraday, intraday um, pwede, nyo, ang, pwede nyo gawin for H2O is just intraday. Right, intraday place, right? At yung sinasabi ko, oh, um, nag-gap gap up siya and then it started to fill that gap. Actually, umangkit siya, yes. Oh, so, yun yun. May, may kita ang mga intraday traders. Then again, if you're a swing trader, you are out of position here. So, if there's still intraday potential kay H2O, right? If you know how to play intraday, 
pwede nyo, pwede nyo pa rin panoorin ito today. Kasi malaki, malaki pa rin, laki ng volume niya kaapon. So, that's a good sign. Um, do not get in H2O if you cannot watch the market. If hindi kayo marunong mag-intraday, strategies or intraday, don't mind. Right? Hayaan nyo na yung mga tao sa H2O kung kikita man sila o hindi. Don't be, wag kayo ma-fomo sa mga yan. Right? And Robert Baluyot is asking about STR. Right. STR. Ayan. So it's STR is bouncing right there. So if you're looking for a good opportunity kay STR, this is a good opportunity. Buy as long as support holds. Lalagay ko sa STR sa, ano ko, sa list ko. STR. Siyempre si IDC, hindi mawawala yan. Let's check out IDC. IDC. Ayan. So, buy as long as support holds for IDC. Uh, ito lang muna. Maliit lang ang list ko for today. Uh, or PPG7. Tanggalin ko si 7. So, I can't, I haven't really made my list properly today. Right. So, yan. Um, I hope you're taking down notes. Mag-notes lang kayo. Ito lang muna ilalagay ko ha. Um, or... Yan. This is for in today. Konti lang ang ilalagay ko for for yan. And NRCP. Let's check out NRCP. Isa ito sa mga paborito ko talaga. Yan. Na pa, umakit na pala si NRCP. Yan. Si NRCP. Yes. Hindi pa uli para um, humabol kay NRCP. Did recommend that yesterday bias lang ang support hold. Sana pumasok kayo. So, I'm gonna go to your questions. Bilisan ko lang. Ayan. Good morning, sir. Vulcan po ba? Ano pa insights nyo? Vulcan? Masyado mataas na si Vulcan eh. So, um, we have a downtrend right here actually. It's a mix of an uptrend and a downtrend. So, delikado yan. We're forming a triangle right here. We're forming This is, I call this when love and hate collides. <laughs> Nagko-collide yung uptrend at downtrend. That's not a good sign for uh, Vulcan. But anyways, you can still bet for this to go up. Um, but wait for it at MA20. Pag lumapit yan sa MA20, pwede kayong pumasok. Pag nag-bounce sa MA20. And then, um, chupit lang. Right? Uh, make sure you can cut loss below that MA20. Set an alarm. Right, so yan lang muna for Vulcan. I don't, I'm not strongly recommending Vulcan as of the moment. Medyo malayu layu pa si MA20, and then there's no bounce right there. Um, Costco Crown, yeah, we talked about that from here. Cruz Ara, yan si Ara, Ara Mina. We have an engulfing right here, so most probably itong bagsak na ito is done. So buy as long as this new support holds for Ara, okay? We have a new support kay Ara. Araneta properties. Yan. So, right there. We buy as long as the support holds, but not strongly recommending si Ara. Uh, we, I really w love RSI together with Bollinger Bands. Mas solid sana ito kung bumaba tong RSI nito. Eh. So, I'm not recommending Ara for the meantime. But that pat, I could be wrong. That pattern is really good. So, check it out, Romeo. And so, Picor. Yan, petroleum picor. Yan, we are between support and resistance already. Wag na, wag niyo nang habulin yan. Right? So, the best position was this bounce around this area right here. So, kahapon, sana. Ang ganda na position ng picor. Pumasok siya sa support. So, um, it's doing sideways. Uh, don't get in anymore. Because nasa gitna na siya ng support and resistance. May tanong kay ATN. Um, I recommended ATN at this point right here if as long as the support holds pero umakit na yan eh. So we already missed that train. Ito yung laging lessons ko sa inyo. Do not, uh, do not chase uh, opportunities that you missed. Yan, si Frogs on the Loose rec uh, asking about ATN. Remember ATN? I recommended ATN when it did a breakout. Diba? And yun, nagtuloy-tuloy na si ANI. So, again, this is already a missed opportunity right here, right? Nag-breakout si ANI during this time, we have this two climbs already. So, anytime soon, matatapos na yung climb na yan. So, I don't want you to waste, uh, to chase that anymore, right? So, wag na, wag na pasukin si ANI. Um, how about BDO, sir? Yes, BDO is a solid company. 
And the position is very good kay BDO. Ayan, pwede, pwede, pwede nyo nang pasukin yung si BDO. Look at this pattern right here. This is a very good very good bounce for BDO. Napakamura na ni BDO. So, if ever the market has already recovered, that's already a good position kay BDO. Mura na si 126 for BDO. Right? So, again, just stay light for mga, sa mga stocks na blue chips. Alright? Um, time check. Uh, I still want to give you uh, give you time to prepare for the market. It's 9.24. So, last three questions na bilisan ko. Si SSI naman. And RSI is doing good. And we have an engulfing right here. So, this is a good sign for SSI. Plus, may dividends siya today. So, ingat lang dito kasi baka bumagsak ito sa dividends niya. Pero maliit lang naman yung dividends niya. So, I don't think that will affect that much. Um, yeah, and SSI has a good pattern, but this could have been driven because of the dividend. So, just ingat lang. If ever this continues going up, I mean, as long as this support holds, you can buy. And then just cut loss below that below that support right there. That's a good sign for SSI. Uh, last two, ISM bought at 310. Yesterday, tataas pa ba? Um, mamaya, sir. Yan na. Uh, Julius Antipala, good job if nakapasok ka kay ISM. Let me see. Let me just double check ISM. 310. Um, I don't think this is gonna climb any much more. So, I want you to sell half. Sana magbenta ka dito sa 3.4 ng half eh. If, um, if, actually, delikado to eh. Uh, 310, dapat nakamagbenta ka na ng kalahati dito. Guys, um, Julius, I have a video about how to handle your winning stocks. Kahapon, ang position mo at 3.10 is swing trade, uh, intraday trade. Ang intraday trader, nagbebenta yan kaagad within the day. It does not, uh, an intraday trader will not hold his position as much as possible. Kahapon, umabot siya sa 3.40, it, uh, 3.44, and then when it started to lose momentum, dapat nagbenta ka na ng kalahate. Right? That's how you do intraday. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, do not force doing intraday trading if hindi pa kayo marunong sa mga, mga techniques sa intraday trading. But at least you're still learning. You have 310. Sayang yung, gain, uh, sa, uh, sayang yung gains mo. Then again, gain is a gain. You can always sell half here. Uh, let the other half ride. Pag nagtuloy-tuloy yan, well, um, maliit na lang. Ano yun eh? Ang gap mo eh. Pag nag-aket nag yan and then it fails, then sell half. If magtuloy-tuloy yung pagbaba, just cut loss your uh, just cut your position, right? Kasi malayo lang yung bagsak niyan if ever babagsak yan. The thing with the stock markets, we really don't know where the stock market will go. So last question, exposer from Erwin Ibanez, we already discussed that. Huwag niyo nang habul um uh review lang kay X. Yes, nagbollinger band trigger siya. Wait for it to do a breakout of this resistance right here para meron kayong uh, meron kayong cut loss area, right? So Wag nyo muna habulin yan. Um, asan na yun? Nawala. NRCP is good for Romel. Ayan. Romel Acevedo, ATNCLI, MNALI. Asan na yun? Nawala. Ang dami palang questions. Uh, guys, hindi ko masasagot lahat ng questions nyo today. It's already 9.27. Tingnan ko lang kung sino ang isa sa mga ano pa. Pwede ko pang matang. Ayan. Let's talk about heaven. Even, dapat lumabas na kayo noong nag-break pa yung support niya. Ako. But right now, Heaven is doing a, forming a, a, what they call this, a, a support right here. Uh, that's a good sign. Baka mag-recover lang ito. But this is on a downtrend. Mag-recover ito ng konti. Bumagsak. Ingat kayo kay Heaven. Right? Ion, goodbye na sir. Mataas na yan. Um, you already missed the train for Ion, guys, ha? Kahapon ko pa rin recommend si Ayon. Bakit nyo hahabulin ngayon? E eh, kahapon pa yung magandang position niya. Right um, right now, Ayon is very near resistance. So, I don't want to recommend Ayon anymore. So, uh, ATN and CLI. Ito. Si Mark Jefferson T is asking about ATN and JL, uh, CLI. We already talked about ATN. Huwag nyo nahabulin yan. CLI. Ayan. Si CLI. Still on a downtrend. Um, so, but we have a support right here. Yesterday, nag at that support. That's your best entry point right here. Nag-doji siya. So, buy as long as the support holds right here for uh, for CLI. Uh, CLI is looking good, right? Last one na lang. Last one na lang. Um, Romel Acevedo is asking about PAX. PAX is... 
Ayan, si Paxis. Ayan, look at that. Ang ganda ng bounce si Paxis kahapon. Whenever it goes near MA20, dapat pinapanood niyo yung stock niyan. We already missed the train. Huwag niyo na habulin yan si Paxis. Don't go for Paxis anymore. Right? Yung MA20 niya, that bounce right there, that was your best entry point after this pullback. So, yan. Um, that's it for today. And our CP is good. Yan. Yan lang muna today. Babawi ako sa inyo guys tomorrow. So, we're gonna be uh, starting at 8.15 tomorrow. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. The remaining of the time, please um, check the market now. It's already 9.29. Once again, have a great day and let's get rich together. Bye-bye. And join the chat room. And if I'll be on the chat room today, and um, download Discord and then search inside Discord. Search for the link uh, of the Discord group. Nasa ano? Nasa what do you call this? Nasa description ng video. Ingat kayo guys today. Have a great day. Bye bye.